Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since we've had some expert mode gameplay, but here we are once again. I want to go ahead and take on the Eater of Worlds in expert mode because I have not yet done this. I hear above ground apparently he does some kind of nasty little spitting. Plus he likes to do the whole twisty turny thing up here. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. And I probably should have gotten some kind of calming potion, but whatever. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about this too much. Hopefully we just go right into it. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I've got the ball of hurt down here to help out as well. So, oh, okay, yep, there is the spitty thing. I can definitely see that. I don't know if you guys may have seen it. Let's go ahead and just try to do some damage. Oh, there we go. Got to stay lively here because apparently the spitty, the spitty is very active. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, he is active. All right. All of her time. Okay, yeah, the spitty, no, the spitty is active. Okay, yep. Yeah. He is definitely forcing us down below. Okay. Nope. This is not good. Yeah, no, that ain't good. Well, that didn't go the way we originally planned. Thankfully for this little backup set of armor, I had to quickly craft out of iron. Hold on. Somebody's coming. There we go. Right, come on. Taste my falcon blade. I had to open up my iron chest. Well, my iron crate, really. From fishing. There we go. Holy crap. It's been a while since I've actually played this. You could tell. Instantly getting owned by the Eater of Worlds. Okay, can I get down here safely without losing any more gear? That is always the trick. There we go. Okay, Angry Shield of Cthulhu. We got our original back. Does it really matter? Not really. Got everything else back. Oh, wow. So much crap up here. So little time. Hit the trash all this stuff. Nope. Don't trash those. We could use those. But, yeah, thankfully we got some of the stuff back. Tungsten pickaxe, tungsten axe, fishing rod. Good stuff. Yeah, ball of hurt. Not doing a lot of hurt, it seems. Okay, there we go. And good. Good, good indeed. Oh, Pegasus boots are down there. We can't leave those behind. Oh, wait, no, I got all kinds of stuff down here. I did not even realize. Okay, well, go ahead and switch over just a little bit so that way... We can actually get some decent armor here. There we go. 17 armor. Not that it mattered against the I've uh, the I've got through. Yeah, right. The eater of worlds. Oh wow. Well. So much stuff. Okay. Probably should be using that yo-yo again, right? Because that yo-yo. Put that slimy saddle back on. We ain't got time to be debating all that. There we go. Oh wow. Yeah. You never know what you can and can't handle until you actually go up against it. And now we know. I need to come up with a better plan against the Eater of Worlds. Can I go down here real quick? There we go. Oh, hello, friend. Can I kill you? I'll kill you, too, because I see more stuff down there. There we go. Wow. Yeah, no, I did have a lot of stuff, didn't I? All right. Get out of here. Go ahead and make sure we don't have anything else lying about down here, because I don't want to give up on anything. You never know. I'll go back and I'll realize, oh, wait a minute, I totally forgot that item. Um, you know what? Looks like we are clear now. Okay, good. All right, so I'll probably have to regroup. You know what? I ain't got time for you guys. Seriously, rotten chunk, rotten chunk is nice. We got to go ahead and come up with a better plan to handle the Eater of Worlds. Okay, well, apologies for the short skips here. It's actually taken me a little bit to get renewed back into this world. Of course, having multiple series makes things a little bit challenging, trying to remember which world has what. And uh, let's be honest, the Eater of Worlds on Expert Mode did catch me off guard. There's no lying about that. But I think after seeing how I played the first time, I got to keep moving. This is going to be one of those bosses it looks like you have to keep moving on. So, of course, I got comfortable in my little zone and pretty much died because of it. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this out a little bit further. I'm not going to make this anything too complicated, but... I do want to at least have a long runway, so that way I can get room to move. Because if I don't move, them, sp that spit is going to really pretty much tear me up. And these guys are just as annoying as ever. Alright, so, I did get, what, two pieces of chain mail, I believe? Actually, no, shadow mail. Whatever, ancient shadow helmet and ancient shadow scale mail. Done and done. I don't even care about the armor bonus. Actually... Even with the armor bonus, this shadow mail is actually one fence point better. If I could actually get the leggings, I'll actually get the bonus on that. Either or, it is better than what I had. Oh my goodness, please, guys, stop it. Anyway, let me just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. 
Then I have to get some more vile mushrooms to make the powder. And then we'll go ahead and make another summoning item. And try this again. I do think it's definitely beatable. My armor may not be the best, but I think it can get better. But I also think that if I kept moving and would avoid the, the vile spit, that would have actually helped a lot as well. So, that's the thing. The vile spit, it goes in one straight trajectory, so if you're moving, it won't be an issue. Okay, I think that may be enough. Got to be careful not to make this too wide, because if I go out in a regular world, it's going to cause him to despawn. It won't be pretty, and then, yeah, it's going to be lots of rage if he's almost dead and he despawns. Actually... This may be good right here. Hey, friend. Thanks for stopping by. Please be sure to come back and I'll give you a gift. Have that gift. Oh, God. Right down the hole. Seriously. Seriously had to go right down the hole. All right. Well, I'm going to go get it. Oh, wow. That's fall damage. No, that is definitely fall damage. I not want to deal with that. I'm really hoping at some point we can get the leggings here because that would make life really good. I would love to get... I mean, even if it is going to be like 19 defense, two points is better than just nothing, right? Come on, guys. Seriously? Well, at least they're making me very rich. Anyway, vile powder. I don't have any jars on me, do I? No, I do not. I don't think I can actually place anything. Oh, man. Do I have the material here to go ahead and craft it really quick? Because that'd be really good. I don't think I have any material. Okay, let's just go over here really fast. If I can get some stone and all the good stuff, that'd be wonderful. Alright, I know what I need to make a stove or furnace, rather, but I just gotta go ahead and farm it up really quick. And if I have enough, hopefully this works out. Seriously, get out of here. I'm trying to do a melee playthrough with this. It's not a legitimate melee playthrough, but I do want to keep it for the most part straightforward. Start off with the table. Yes. Please leave me alone, flying fish. No one's got time for you. Next up would be that. There we go. Yeah, I'm not teleporting all the way back because it is a long way back. I realize that. It's also part of the reason why I did not want to keep recording. That's a lot of space to fill. There we go. Yeah, no, we're going to make this totally happen right here. Come on. Say goodbye to you. Are you serious? No. Get out of here, bloody fish. All right, so we've gotten that done. Now we need to make some glass. From glass, we shall make our jars. Actually, you know what? Give me that mana crystal. There we go. Well, never mind. It's all maxed anyway. Well, I could sell those. And yoink. There we go. Whatever. To each their own. I don't care. There we go. Powder time. It is powder time. Where is that powder? Ebon Wood Lantern. Okay, well, that's kind of cool looking, but not what's on the agenda right now. There we go. 15 of you. 15 of you. Altar. I know the altars are down there. See? Kind of made that pretty good without having to go all the way back. Ow. This guy's still hit like a truck, but either or. Alright. We would navigate this safely without taking fall damage. That's going to be the question. I know we've got plenty of altars down here, like so. Oh no, I hear you. Come on. Oh, never mind. You're just a little regular old worm. Nothing too major. Go. Alright, hopefully... I don't know how good this will work, but I do know that it should work to a degree. So... Oh, come on. Get out of my bum. Get out of my bum, you. These guys are always up bums. They like bums. They like that rear end bum. There we go. Up there. Oh, I have no iron skin potion, so this is going to be iffy, and I have very little in the way of potion healing. Lesser potions are nice, but they're not going to do the whole thing. Come on, get out of here. Oh my god, please leave me alone. Or give me the leggings. I don't care. Alright, or whatever. I don't know. You guys, you definite guys. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully, much better luck. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Dodging all the vile spit. Oh, good. Okay, so the moving 
part does seem to actually work pretty good. Except when we do this. But I'd rather do this and avoid the spit than have to deal with the spit and get screwed. There we go. I kind of like the way that goes. It's not great, but it's definitely better than taking a boatload of damage. Okay, like that. Right, come on, just keep you on this other side. If we keep you on the flip side, you won't be as horrible. There we go, come on. Oh, there we go, that's what I need. It'd be nice if I break him up in segments, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be a thing. Come on. There we go. Oh, there goes the segment. Okay, there we go. Oh, goody. Can we kill you? Oh, yes. Heal. Okay, now we're back in the game. Where are you at? He's going to be coming around for a quick circle here somewhere. Look, some scale mail's in there, so that's a good thing. We can use that scale mail. Oh, goody. Just keep moving. Once again, that strategy. So they did definitely make him challenging with the whole spit thing. He's just like the corruptors in hard mode that use the spit. There we go. Very nice. Very beautiful. Again, this may be a long fight, but at the same time... Okay, well, that block definitely helped out. If we can avoid that spit, ow, ow, that is very hurtful spit. Yeah, let's just go ahead and slap you like that, okay? If we can get a couple passes, that'd be really wonderful. Ow. Okay, I see that heart down there. That's going to be a thing. Come on back, Biggin. There we go. I would love to actually take him down a different way, but unfortunately, I do not have my uh, my harpoon. Oh, goodness, 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 no. Okay, well, that happened. Can I heal? There we go. Okay, good. That spit disappeared. Come on, just keep it going. Oh, no, he's. In, I'm in the death loop. This ain't good. The death loop. Just like the destroyer with that death loop. All right, there we go. Just go ahead and touch you up a little bit. Let's just keep moving, right? Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Nope, nope, nope. This ain't good. Stuck in that spit. Oh, God. The health. Come on. Try to focus on all these worms. Oh, good. More segments. Just what we didn't need. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. 24 seconds. We gotta dodge this guy for 24 seconds. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right. Can we do this with 19 health? 15 seconds to go. This is going to be very challenging. All right. Let's just not go this way because, of course, it's going to be too wide open. Okay. There's a piece of heart that falls. I can't get that heart just yet. But hopefully we can make a rebound and grab it. Where are these guys at? We can stay in this wide open space. Oh, okay. There's another one. Oh, my goodness. It was close. Oh, my goodness. It was so close. And they're stealing all my coins. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, well, at least the stuff didn't fall the way down, but that is most unfortunate. We did get some scale mail, which works out really well, but at the same time, oh, the heartbreak. The complete and utter heartbreak. I think this would have been a little bit easier if I had had some iron skin potions, and I'm definitely going to craft those, but right now, wow. My heart is aching just a little bit after having that fall apart. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot, shall we? Again. Hopefully we have much better luck. This is what, our third attempt? Really our third attempt. There we go. All right, we got the iron skin and we got the food buff. That's gonna help out. Once again, we're gonna try to keep moving so that way the vile spit does not become an issue like that. Oh, that vile spit is very vile indeed. All right, let's not get caught up in all of that. Oh yeah, let's not get caught up in the vile spit. I think that was the big downturn the last time around was the vile spit. Oh, just keep moving. It gets you kind of cornered, and once you get cornered with it, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, let's just keep the vile spit at a distance like that. Having some campfires may have actually helped, but... Oh, oh, that vile spit. Okay, so the big thing about this is we're going to have to keep an eye out where it goes. It's very hard to keep an eye on the trajectory when it's very small like that. At least for me, it is. Okay, there we go. Pretty simple, straightforward. Okay, no, no. Oh, God. The death loop. The death loop. Now yeah, the death loop. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 25 seconds to... Oh, wow. Yeah, no. That's going to be a hard rebound on that one. Okay, can we just stay away? Or just stay damage-free for, what, 18, 17, 16 seconds? Just keep you like that. Let's not dance around with him too much. We're not trying to get a confrontation right now. We're trying to get some time so that way we can go ahead and get healed. Where's he coming from? Down below. Okay, coming around. Come around for the turn, and there's the heal. Okay, there we go. Oh, goodness. Walking right into that vile spit. That is not good. Okay. 
Oh, can we get away from the Vile Spit? Oh, that is not good. Did the heal kick in? The heal did kick in. Oh, wow, we got 60 health with 40-some seconds to go. That is not good at all. And there has got to be a way to dodge this. Ooh, that was close. Okay, the, the Vile Spit is not working in our favor right now. And I am not going to despawn this guy. So the question is, can I actually keep him busy? In the meantime, oh, here comes the Vile Spit again. This is the ultimate trick. Oh, goodness, the Vile Spit takes so much damage. We've got 20-some seconds to go. This is not going to be good. Okay, Vile Spit coming from there. Can we get you to come from here? Okay, there we go. We can avoid the Vile Spit this way. This wall should act as a barrier for the meantime. Oh, this is not good because the healing potions are not strong enough to do the healing. Oh, he's got so much health. So much health. Oh, he's coming a long way. Okay, good. He'll stay down there and we'll totally avoid that. Two seconds left. Can we throw a heal potion in? Oh, 50 health points is not going to be enough. Oh, this is not good. All right. That means I have to buy my time for another full 60 seconds? Are you kidding me? All right, come on. There we go. There we go. Do a little bit more damage that way. The wall should act as somewhat of a barrier, I hope. And, oh, this is going to be a lot of dancing. Come on. There he goes. Oh, no. Here comes the vile spit. And here comes, oh, just added range. Good. Let's just kind of keep you blocked right there. Vile spit. Okay, damage. Okay, it's a little bit of damage. Wow, this is not going to be the most optimal way to do this. Okay, 22 seconds left. We got 145 health. Okay, vile spit incoming. We're going to constantly move. Oh, goodness. Well, that was not meant to happen, but we can find a way to avoid it, right? Okay, well, we got something out of the deal. Okay, there we go. We just we knocked him off target. That helps that some healing coming up in 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heal. There we go. Like I said, it's not a lot, but it's definitely something. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that actually helps. Vile spit incoming. What a vile spit. Okay, oh, that did not need to happen. That is not good. Dodge it. There we go. Go for the heal. There we go. Okay. Oh, yes, that is actually good. Breaking him down is working out really well because it's stopping the spit in some regard. But we still got to go ahead and get a whole beast under control here with 213 health. Okay, where'd he go? Oh, it's going quiet. There we go. Oh, very nicely done. Very nicely done. Get out of here, you. Okay, so we knocked him back off target. Trajectory is got me safe from the spit this time around. Okay, where you at? Come on, you bugger. Seriously? Okay, he's down below. We've gotten to a pretty safe area around here. Healing up naturally is going to be really good. It's going to save us on potions. Okay, uh-oh. Spit from above. That's not good. Where is he coming from? Where is he coming from? Oh, whoa, we got big in right there. Holy crap, he came flying from the sky, but we got him down. All right, where are you at? I don't know how he came from the sky, but that is not what we need. Did he spawn? All right, we're going to bring him back around over here. He despawned. Are you kidding me? Well, that is kind of boogerish. He despawned. No way. Well, I'm rather PO'd about that. I mean, we got 29 Demonite Ore and 21 Scales, which is enough to make something good. But that is not what we needed. We were here to actually go ahead and kill him. Well, that was most unfortunate. Unreal. All right. I'm not giving up now. We, we've done came too far to do that. All right, well, I guess the only way we're going to be able to do this now is if we go ahead and bomb it. And I don't know if I got enough bombs here to do it, so that's unfortunate. But it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and do this again next time. That's very annoying. And I really hate breaking this up into two parts. I like getting a boss done in one video. But it looks like, for some reason, this game is like, nope. We're going to go ahead and make you work a little bit extra hard for it because... Yeah, get out of here, you. Seriously, no one got time for Eater of Worlds. Well, and no one got time for Eater of Souls. When the Eater of Worlds just doesn't want to come around. Seriously, I thought it was going to be tight, but... It, it was tight. It was very tight. There was no doubt about that. The problem was we couldn't finish it, and he just kind of backed out of it. So next time, what I got planned, besides not getting electrocuted by that jelly over there, is to go ahead, take out the Eater of Worlds using the Iron Skin Potion, and hopefully we'll have actual healing potions, not lesser, but healing potions, because they are going to make the difference that we need to beat him.